And welcome to which could probably be the last vote of the channel. It depends though. But this is the big summer project vote. Basically, it, it's gonna it, it may be a very long summer, but that is why I've rounded up some of some very long games and decided to like give them a go depending on what you vote for. Since there uh, are, are loads to go down, I'll make quick work of these. Here are the games that you've got to choose from. You've got Sonic and the Black Knight, which is which is a really good Sonic game. Features Sonic with a sword. The gameplay of that was interesting. It is a really good game. Next up, you got Sonic and the Secret Rings, which was which has basically got same same as Sonic and the Black Knight. It's got missions. It has mini game things. It has loads of that, it has story, quite long it is. Also there's Sonic Colours, which is the like recent Sonic game which has been out. Very good game, good power ups there. It's a quite in quite challenging at some times, but never mind. Also you've got Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Basically this was the e e Xbox 360 game which Basically, the only Xbox 360 Sonic game, really. Or, I mean, there's been others, but just that this was the only one to appear on the Xbox and PlayStation. Basically, the first non Nintendo Wii game, actually. But never mind, the game the gameplay is quite challenging, but it's still a good game all round, depending on what reviewers say. It's still alright. Next up, you got Sonic Unleashed, which features combat style gameplay and also the original Sonic gameplay as well it's it's very good game very long as well and also you go back to forth from places and it's it's quite good it is yeah and finally the final Sonic game of this list is the classic Sonic Adventures director's cut or Sonic Adventures basically for, for the Nintendo game GameCube the director's cut it's basically the Dreamcast version of it but just added missions and that. So that's all the Sonic games. Let's move on to. Let's continue on with the list and starting off with this Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The the story mode of it. Basically, the story mode is very long. Loads of characters to choose from. Really good game. It is it's basically brilliant. Next up, you got Super Mario Sunshine. I can get up to. I can get as many shines as I can but I'd have to end the game and the project at some limit due to unknown reasons in fact but next up is Wario World it's, very, it's a very good adventure game where you take on like giant monsters and like use like wrestling moves on them next up is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess which is Basically, probably the most recent Legend of Zelda game out on the Wii. Very good. It was quite good. I've, I've completed it, but some of the stuff's a bit tricky on there. And next up, you've got Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker, which is probably my favourite Legend of Zelda game, and still will be for quite a while. Basically, it's got good cartoon-like graphics, and it's uh, and basically it's 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 got more free roaming than any other of the Zelda games. Also, there's Metroid Prime. You get loads of missions. You get loads of weapons and power-ups and that. And also, the final Nintendo game on this summer project list is also Donkey Kong's Jungle Beat. Basically, we'll, we will be using the bongos if you do vote for this. Basically, just take on monkey bosses, pig bosses, like, while trying to get to the loads of levels on there, but it's quite good. And that's some of the games, and here's a few more to go. You can choose from. There's the Ultimate Hulk, Ultimate Destruction, which is which has loads of missions which you do to get advanced you're trying to find a cure which is impossible for this green dude 
Next up, you got X Men Legends 2 Rise of the Apocalypse. Basically, you play as the heroes and the bad guys in order to beat this old git here with the teeth, noshes, whatever. Next up, you got Ultimate Spider Man. You play as Spider Man and some of the villains on there. It was quite quite hard, but but all right, I guess. But it's not as good as this one, Spider-Man 2. Based off the movie, there's plenty of missions, plenty of stories there. Actually, this one's quite would be quite a quick project, actually, just because of the fact that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, and also, if you are interested, I've got I got I got this nifty gadget a while ago. It's basically you plug this thing into the GameCube and you play Game Boy Advance games. But I don't know about this for certain. But if it does work, then I guess we try out Pokemon Emerald if it does work. And 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 as we know, all the Pokemon games are very long, but they're very enjoyable. And if, and, and if you're lucky, and I, and I practice recordings on my Nintendo, or no, my Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP, we could even play this if you, we're lucky as well. A, 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 an, old, an old classic, Pokemon Yellow. And here are the last games. This one's the blob. Basically, you play a paint guy. Who's that guy there? And you must colour the world. The missions are very long. The levels are very long as well. So, or you can have the Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, which features, which is the story between the old ones and the new films, and. Basically, there's loads of there's loads of lightsaber stuff on there, and loads of like loads of moves there. Also, there's this game here, which is this is quite long as well. Samurai Jack: Shadow of a Coup, basically based off a Cartoon Network show. I think I don't know. It it was cheap. I brought it. It's quite good actually. And but here's a good one here. Gotcha Force. Basically, this is a game but made by Capcom. Which probably a lot of you would have never heard of this. It's not well known, but it is a brilliant game if you've played it. This this is a game I recommend. It's quite good actually. And also there is Bomberman Generation, which is probably the best Bomberman game out there. Basically, what you gotta do is go through a series of long levels, beat enemies, and go in and out uh, in true Bomberman style. And finally, there is this very long game here. Probably the longest out of all of them, I don't know, but it is Half Life 2. Basically, episode, episode, episode 0, episode 1, and episode 2 as well be fully played. And 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 also, and also there are other two more suggestions. There is there's Pokemon Rumble for the WiiWare, which which was like a, a different whole new battle system to Pokemon. And there's also, or if you feel like the retro games, I could put down I could put down Kirby's Adventures on the list as well. That's also quite a good game as well. But just like if you feel a bit retro and you want to see a classic game being played. So that's all the games to choose from. And please make sure to vote. Please. Otherwise, well, I won't be playing them. So, haha. -ha. So, thank you for your time.